Us. Almost all of us use some sort of social media. It's easy to get hooked, lost in all of that scrolling and liking. But believe it or not, there is science to social media and a scientific reason that you just can't stop scrolling through your feeds. Team 12's William Pitts shows us why and how we can get obsessed. An estimated four and a half billion people worldwide are on social media. Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and the game is to keep you online as long as possible. Usually they want you to interact with other people. Likes, comments, friends, but not TikTok, the biggest app among young people. Dr. Julie Albright studies digital culture. She says TikTok is like digital crack. Don't you want a little bit more of that? And so it's hard to pull yourself away and it's feeding you exactly what you like. Experts say addictive is a strong word, but gambling can be addictive. And Albright says social media, especially TikTok, is a lot like gambling with videos. Maybe you don't like the first one or the second, but eventually you'll see one you like, the jackpot. When you sometimes win, think about pulling that arm or pushing the button on the slot, you go ding, 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 oh, I didn't win. Ding, 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 oh, ding, ding, yay, you know. That's called random reinforcement. It keeps you coming back for more. These two grad students did one of the first research papers about TikTok and its famous algorithm. We weren't really frequent users, but we kind of just sensed that there was something unusual about it. They've uncovered a social media app that isn't very social. Since on TikTok, you're mainly engaging with the algorithm, which is feeding back to you your own interests. The draw itself is the algorithm rather than it being kind of a feature that they're using behind the scenes. You end up with a really like a, almost like a closed loop of you interacting with versions of yourself over and over. Uh, it's this idea that the algorithms start picking up on what you like and start feeding you more of the same. So we did a little test, a brand new phone, a brand new TikTok account. Just about 10 minutes ago, I started to scroll through TikTok and I decided that I would like car videos. I didn't click on anything. I didn't comment on anything. I didn't share anything. I just spent a little more time watching car videos. Now, it's already starting to feed me nothing but cars. Because I've spent more time watching them than anything else. So now it seems to think that I like Fast and the Furious because it's starting to feed me Paul Walker hashtags and Fast and Furious clips. I thought it would take an hour or more for the app to narrow down my interest. It took 15 minutes. I have seriously been scrolling for five minutes and I haven't had a single video pop up that is not car related, not even uh, maybe you're interested in something other than cars. And Dr. Albright says that's both the point and the danger. Because if you're, say, an anti-vaxxer, that's what you're gonna get. If you kind of indicate in some subtle way that that's an interest, suddenly you get nothing but anti-vax information, for example, well, that's pretty much confirming what you thought. But what if those TikTok videos you're watching aren't political or animals, but about depression, suicide? Now you're down a rabbit hole of videos that may make you feel worse, not better. So what can you do? Set limits on how long you and your kids can use social media and make sure those rules are followed. And now that you know how you can get hooked, you now know what to look for. It's the most powerful behavioral driver that we know. So that's what's baked into these apps now. Baked in for millions and millions of users to get them hooked and keep them using. William Pitts, 12 News.